Hi everyone, Justin Vogt, Product Manager on the Development Experience team at Sitecore. I'm excited to announce a new release for our Sitecore CLI version 4.0. Within this release, we have made updates to our existing serialization and publishing plugins. Additionally, we've created a new plugin for managing index data and a new plugin for creating item as resource files. Let's take a closer look. There are times when changes are made to a Sitecore item that development teams want ignored in the serialization process. With the updates we've made, you will now have the ability to configure excluded fields at a global and module level. Here is a short clip that showcases how you can accomplish this by making edits to the Sitecore.json file for global field exclusions and edits made with a module.json file for field exclusions that apply only to a single module within your solution. The next major enhancement we made to the serialization plugin is the ability to manage roles and synchronize roles within the CLI during your development and automation efforts. Here is a quick clip that showcases the creation of new roles within a targeted domain in preparation for synchronization. By adding configuration to one of the modules.json file, a role declaration is added by specifying the target domain and role name pattern that should be used by the serialization services. Once this is in place, running the serialization commands from the CLI perform push and pull operations on the associated content items. Additionally, there are a few notable improvements that we've made that I want to share. Content serialization event notification is now available for plugin development. We've made improvements for content moving and refactoring scenarios. We've resolved an issue when using the republish option on a specific path. We've resolved an issue with branch ID not getting serialized correctly in some use cases. We've resolved an issue with serialized item languages getting pushed to Sitecore but not clearing caches used by GraphQL. And finally, we've included the output auth URL in device code flow mode for improved usability. Something else we've done is enhanced the functionality of our publishing plugin, and it now supports publishing targets. Let's take a look at how this works. We have created a new argument option to our existing publish command. Using a dash dash pt for shorthand, or dash dash targets for longhand, this works exactly as you'd expect it to. You can now specify an optional list of publishing targets to use when executing a publish operation. The default is the single internet or web target. We have also created new functionality that allows you to perform some administration of your Sitecore indexes. We have introduced this as a new plugin, which can be added to your Sitecore CLI. The indexing features we have implemented replicate all of the functionality you can perform directly within the Sitecore control panel. Using our CLI, you can now see a list of all your solar indexes. You can populate your solar managed schemas. You can rebuild your indexes. And you can retrieve statistics for your indexes. Having support for these operations at the command line provide developer convenience and enables automation scenarios. We have one more new feature. We have created a new resource package plugin, which can be used to create your own item as resource files. The plugin is designed to allow you to create item as resource files based on developer owned items that you have serialized via the Sitecore CLI or Unicorn. These files are designed to allow development teams to install and upgrade their Sitecore items in a convenient way. At the command line, you can execute an operation to package selected serialized items that you have on disk and convert them into an item as resource.dat file. These files should only contain content for developer distributed solutions that are generally immutable in nature. Our tooling will automatically create files for the correct corresponding Sitecore database, master core, etc. Once the files have been created, 
they can be loaded into a Sitecore installation in the inet pub www root app data items folders. And that covers all of the major updates in our new version of the Sitecore CLI, version 4.0. The release is currently available. You can find it at dev.sitecore.net slash downloads slash Sitecore underscore CLI. There you will find all of the resources related to the download, along with links to the plugins and documentation. Thank you for all the ideas that went into this release, and please continue to provide feedback as we make plans for future releases. When providing feedback, it's easy to find me on Sitecore Slack. Typically, you'll find me in the Sitecore Dev Collection channel. You can also feel free to email me or direct message me. Thank you.